Alright everyone, ang um, pag-uusapan natin in this video is paano makabawi sa mga nalugi. Diba? Uh, lahat tayo nakapagdaan na sa ups and downs ng portfolio. I mean, syempre, I'm sure may sobrang swerte dyan na laging up lang. No? And if so, congratulations po ma'am sir. Okay, but for the large part, uh, marami sa ating naka-experience ng ups and downs ng pag-trade sa market. Lalo na ngayong pandemic, maraming naisipan na mag-participate, na magsimulang mag-trade dahil either uh, nawalan ng trabaho, nabawasan ng income, or baka medyo na bored lang no, sa bahay. And because of that, some of you may have experience na, ah okay, biglang, uy tumahas ang port ko, ang galing, ang laki ng kinita ko. Pero may iba naman na naka-experience na, Nakuha, laki na binasak ng port ko. 10%, 20%, 30%. Diba? So, itong video na to is para doon sa mga taong yon. Okay, paano makabawi sa nalugi? Now, before I continue, konting disclaimer lang. Um, may ibang tao that won't find this video as relevant. And yung mga taong yon ay yung mga ayaw na. Yung mga sumubok lang, parang kubaga, linubog mo lang yung paa mo sa tubig, tapos nalamigang ka, umatras ka na, then this isn't gonna help you. Okay? This video won't be a magic solution sa lahat ng mga problema nyo. Okay? It still requires hard work and dedication on your part para magawa yung mga pag-uusapan natin dito. That said, let's start. Number one, recognize that there is a problem. I know it sounds simple, pero hindi ba lagi ito yung first step? Ito yung first step kapag sa mga alcoholic, ito rin yung first step sa mga gamblers anonymous, yung mga ganon, di ba? Ito lagi yung first step. Bakit? Kasi if hindi ka pahanda na harapin ng problema, kahit ano pa ang sabihin ng iba, mahihirapan ka talagang sumunod at maniwala kailangan mo munang tanggapin na may issue, na may problema. Kung kunwari, each time na nagbukas ka ng portfolio, each time na nagbukas ka ng account, diba? each time na tumingin ka ng chart, ang sagot mo lang lagi is either, dinaya ako ng stock market eh, nanloko lang yan, budol. O di naman kaya, ah, yung mga institutions lang ako makita dyan, hindi yan pang normal na tao. O di naman kaya, ah wala, minalas lang ako. Babalik din yan, babalik at babalik yung price. ba diba? after mga 3 years, 5 years, babalik din yan, hihintayin ko lang. Kung ganon yung mindset mo, then you're not willing to admit na merong problem. ba diba? And there's nothing anyone can do for you kung ganon ka talaga mag-isip. Siyempre, hindi ka naman na pwedeng pilitin eh. Diba? Alam nga naman puntahan ka sa bahay mo, tapos yugyugin ka ng ibang tao hanggang maniwala ka na merong problema, di ba? Hindi naman pwede. So, kailangan mong tanggapin na meron. At once na tanggap mo na meron, okay, mas madali na paniwalaan yung kailangan mong gawin sa next steps. Admitting you have a problem is the first step in fixing the problem. Kasi nga, as long as you don't admit it, then we can't start fixing it. Number two, you need to create a plan. Okay, when I say create a plan, hindi lang to basta. Pagsusulit ka lang ng, ah, pag kayo nag-price, nag-above MA20, babay ako. Pag nag-below MA20, magsisell ako. Hindi ganun, ha? Hindi mababawi ang talo kung wala kang plano, mahirap maayos ang problema kung, das- kung-, kung sa dasal lang iaasa. Okay? That's important. Kailangan may plano ka papano mo babawiin yung talo mo. Kasi kung wala, then you're just banging your head against the wall. Umaasa ka pa rin sa swerte. Umaasa ka pa rin na 
wala, bigla na lang may konting biyaya na mauhulog na baka yung binili mo, kinabukasan, bigla may balitang lumabas, bigla lumipad, at di ba ka na? Diba? Now, when you create a plan, this is an all-encompassing topic. It should not be limited to just how you're going to fix your current situation, but should also include ways on how to avoid it in the future. Now, when I say that, ito kasing creating a plan, kapag inisa-isa ko lahat ng mga pwede nyong gawin, hindi tayo matatapos sa video na to. Honestly, there's just so many different ways for you to tackle the same problem. Pero meron akong konting suggestions. Number one, you could maybe look for new ways to approach the market. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Baka yung pananaw ko sa market. Kunyari, sentiment ko laging dapat bullish. Pero pangit naman talaga yung market. Pababa. Bearish na bearish ang itsura. Pero hindi ko binabago yung viewpoint ko. So baka kailangan ako maghanap na ibang pamamaraan kung paano ko lalapitan yung market with a more logical or with a more objective approach. Other suggestions include how to exit your current positions. I've lost count of the number of times that people have come to me and said na, oh, nabili ko to. Kunyari sabi natin, nabili ko ng piso. Umabot na ng dalawang piso, hindi binenta. ba? Kasi daw, sayang daw yung average nila eh. Diba? Naririnig daw nila sa social media. 3 pesos, 4 pesos, 100 pesos. So, ayaw nilang ibenta. Tapos, soon enough, nahulog na yung price. Bumalik na 80 cents, 70 cents. So, yung kinita mo dapat na doble, nalugi pa. Just because wala kang plano kung paano ka lalabas sa mga positions mo. Do you use a trail stop? Do you use targets? ba? Personally, ako, I take profits along the way. Hindi ko hinahabol na kailangan mabenta ko yan sa pinakatuktok. Okay lang na hindi. Okay lang na kunwari, yung piso, naging dalawang piso, na benta ko, tapos yung dalawang piso, naging tatlong piso. Okay lang. ba? Pwede namang bumalik eh. Wala namang masama, hindi naman po illegal yun. Basta ako, meron akong planong sinusunod. Ine-execute ko lang yun along the way. Pagtapos na, tapos na. Kung meron akong na-miss, hindi ko iniisip na may mali akong ginawa. Kung alam ko ba naman na yung dalawang piso, magiging tatlong piso, ibebenta ko ba naman yun? Siguro naman, kahit hindi po ako sobrang katalinuhan, eh, hindi pa naman ako ganun kabobo, ba? <laughs> I'm sure na kung kayo, alam nyo, as in may guarantee kayo na ang piso today, Magiging limang piso on Friday. E di syempre, hihintayin nyo hanggang Friday bago nyo ibenta. Baka nyo ibebenta ng Thursday. Baka nyo ibebenta ng Wednesday. E alam nyo na magiging limang piso. Kaso walang ganun kasiguraduhan sa market eh. There's simply no guarantee. People always say, Naku mali, binenta ko na maaga. Ang lagi ko sagot, bakit? Alam mo ba? May nagsabi ba sa'yo na bukas magiging 30 yan? May nagsabi ba sa'yo bukas magiging 50 yan? Kasi kung hindi mo alam, paano mo masasabing mali? Ang mali kung hindi mo sinundan yung plano mo. Next, you can also find trading groups to share your journey with. Okay? Um, maraming mga trading groups ngayon na okay. Paano mo malalaman na okay yung group na yun? Usually, yung mga groups na mas okay, walang hype, Walang bash. Okay? Mga nagtuturo ng maayos. Kapag yung mga sinasalihan yung group, ang ginagawa lang lagi is, oh, ito, gain na ako 20%. Anong gagawin ko dun sa snapshot ng portfolio mo? Kaya nga ako maiwas na rin ako sa ganun ngayon eh. Noong una, I still post them, but na-realize ko, paano ba nakakatulong sa tao yun? E eh, tapos na yun eh. Diba? Laging sinasabi ng mga, uh, ng, uh, when you watch videos na, Past success does not equate to future success. ba? Na ang historical performance is not indicative of future na performance. So, anong gagawin nyo kung kumita nga ako ng 20% sa SCC? Anong gagawin nyo kapag kumita nga ako ng 40% sa MRC? 
di ba? Para lang magyabang, para lang makita nyo na, ah, eto, marunong siya mag-trade 40%. E eh, kung chamba lang yun. So, ganun yung mga iniiwasan ko. Ako, kung naghahanap man ako ng grupo, I like to join groups na walang bash, walang hype, hindi yung, oh, nakabili na ako ng ganito, nakabili ka na ba? Tapos nagtuturo ng maayos. Isa pa yon. anong gagawin mo doon sa trade na tapos na kung hindi ka rin naman tuturuan ng mabuti kung paano nila ginagawa yun? Maraming mga groups ngayon na free na pwede nyo sarihan na marami kayo matututunan. na I'm not gonna link all of those groups in the description box below but allow me to promote my own group, yung Silid Aralan. Uh, it's a Discord channel uh, where I teach lots of people Uh, how I trade, what I do, ano yung mga mindset. Uh, I'm quite active there. And mga tao doon, so far, mababait naman, willing magturo ng iba, sinishare yung sarili-sarili ng mga system. ba? Diba? Nagtatanong din, sumasagot din, wala nagkakahiyaan. So hype ka lang ng konti yun, okay? Self-promotion lang ng konti. And if you want to join that group, all you need to do is to subscribe to my free newsletter. The link is in the description box below. And then from there, kapag natanggap niyo yung welcome email nyo, uh, just scroll down, tapos mahanap nyo rin yung link kung paano kayo makakasali dun sa Discord server na yun. Okay? Now, I know dito sa listahan na to, dumiretso na ako sa at marami pang iba, uh, but that's only because uh, naubos na tayo na space, no? Don't worry, I'm gonna give you a couple more suggestions or a couple more examples. So, another example is, or suggestion is, kailangan kilala niyo yung sarili niyo kung ano yung trading style na babagay sa inyo. Now, ako, hindi ako trend follower. Uh, I realized in myself early on na hindi ko talaga kayang hintayin yung ganun. Yung ilang buwan na nakatenga lang ako sa isang stock. I, I, I realized na a lot of people do that. Don't get me wrong. Actually, this is a very good way to trade. Okay? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's one of the best ways to trade and usually dun kakikita ng malaking pera. ba? Diba? Pero it's just not me. When I tried doing it, dun pa ako mas nalugi. Kasi napapabenta ako ng maaga or laging mali yung entry ko. ba? Diba? Mali yung timing ko. Kasi hindi siya para sa akin eh. So I look for what works for me. And kailangan ganun din kayo. Just because may napanood kayo sa YouTube, whether it's from my videos or from other people's videos na, ah, ganito ginagawa ko para kumita, it doesn't mean na yun na rin yung gagana para sa inyo. ba? Diba? Kailangan nyo makahanap kung anong niche yung bagay sa inyo para mas komportable kayong mag-trade. At kapag mas komportable kayong mag-trade, usually ang kahihinat na nun, mas maganda rin ang magiging resulta. Diba? Other suggestions pa? Uh, some people suggest purging your entire port. Um, that's not a bad idea, no? In the sense na minsan a fresh start helps. Okay? Pero may mga pagkakataon naman din na kumbaga too deep to cut and kayo lang makakapagsabi nun kung ano talaga yung too deep to cut para sa inyo. Pagka ganun, you need to think up of ways kung paano siya uh, bawiin. ba diba? Outside of just averaging down forever. Okay? Uh, one way I suggest is, kung talagang gusto nyong mag-average down, baka each time na mag yung stock, bentahan nyo ng konti. Tapos after mag kung mag-pull back ulit, doon kayo mag-average down para the size of your position relatively remains the same, di ba? Pero yung pag-average down nyo, mas merong sense. Kasi, nakabenta kayo ng konti, binabuy back nyo ng mas mura. May kinita kayong konti doon, bumababa yung average nyo, pero hindi lumalaki yung position nyo, hindi nagbabaloon. Diba? Another way to approach it is, pabaliktad naman. Kapag talagang bumagsak, bumaba, di ba? Naghanap ng bagong level of support. Pwede kayong mag-average down ng konti doon, pero pag nag-rally ng konti, 
yung binili nyo, yung inapil yung binili ko niya, bumili kayo ng 2,000 shares, nag-average down kayo, ibenta nyo ulit. Again, it it's just the reverse of the, the first suggestion, yung first process. You earn a little bit in the sense na liliit yung lugi mo, pero yung position mo remains the same. Hindi lumalaki, hindi nagbabalun yung utang. Gets nyo? And aside from that, marami pa kaibang pwedeng gawin. And um, if you want to know more, I suggest yun nga, uh, join our trading group, Silid Aralan. At kung iba pa, kung ayaw nyo doon, that's fine. Marami pa kaibang groups na pwedeng salihan. I just don't want to alienate any specific group by being uh, uber-specific in this video. Alright? But you have to remember, diba? plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. Okay, to, for this to make sense, we need to head on to the third point. The third point is actual execution. Okay, gawa-gawa tayo ng plano, walang kwenta yan, plans are useless. Diba? But planning is, ano, is indispensable in the sense na habang nagpa-plano ka kasi, number one, you get to account for different scenarios. And number two, without it, there's nothing to execute. Okay? Tapos, kung meron ka namang plano, tapos hindi mo naman in-execute, eh talagang wala silang kwenta. An Aanahin mo yun. <laughs> diba? So, number three is execution. And before we talk more about execution, I just want uh, to read this quote to you. One of my favorite quotes from my childhood. Hindi ko alam bakit. Baka napaka-pessimistic or napaka-agrim ko lang na tao. Hope is the denial of reality. It is the carrot dangled before the draft horse to keep him plodding along in a vain attempt to reach it. This is from Raistin Majere, no? uh, from the Dragonlance Chronicles. Execution is key because number one, it's where you see if magwo work pa yung mga plano nyo. However, you do need to be a little flexible. Diba? When you plan for something, you don't just plan for scenario A. You have to plan for scenario A, B, C, and so on. Para kahit anong iba to sa inyo, handa kayo. Kaya nyo nga execute ng maayos. You need to remain somewhat flexible. Just because meron akong plano, it doesn't mean na yun yung mangyayari. I wish na ganun yung mangyayari. Kunyari, sinabi ko na, yun nga, kung nag yung isang stock, Bentahan nyo, kunyari talagang ipit na ipit kayo, tapos pag nag-dip down ulit, doon kayo mag-average down para bababa average nyo at the same time, same pa rin yung size ng position. Diba? But papano ko kunyari nag-rally, binentahan nyo, tapos tumuloy. So wala na, tatanggapin nyo na may nalugi kayong portion talaga, ganun talaga. Pero at least tumaas, diba? At least tumuloy. <laughs> Kikita na kayo, baka makabawi na kayo, ma-recover nyo na yung position. So, Parang ganon, you need to be flexible. You need to accept na may pros and cons. Ay, ay, clones tuloy, ano ba yan? Na may pros and cons ang lahat ng plano. Hindi pwedeng lahat pro lang. Tapos ganon din. Kung kunwari, nag-try kayong maghanap kung anong niche yung mas mabagay sa inyo. Maybe you're a scalper. Maybe you're a position trader. Maybe you're a swing trader. Tapos hinanap-hanap nyo yun. Tapos okay, sige, nahanap ko na. Tapos di mo rin naman gagawin. Swing trader ka, pero, eh kasi, sabi rin doon sa video, trend following daw yung mas profitable. Eh. Alright, di wala, X lang yun, sayang lang yung oras mo, tinuloy mo yung trend follow, hindi para sa'yo, logi ka pa rin, walang nangyari. You need to execute the plan. You need to step out of just hoping. Hoping that things will fix themselves. Kasi, they rarely ever do. You need to stop believing in something that may or may not happen and start doing things that will happen because you started doing them. Creating a plan that works for you is paramount. I always suggest to my students na meron kayong parang uh, parang libro, kumbaga, na parang sa inyo, parang, parang sarili nyo diary. Tapos dun sa librong yon nakalagay lahat. Nandun yung mga setups nyo. Ano yung ideal market uh, environment na para sa inyo? Diba? Mga whys nyo. Why are you doing this? Ano yung gusto nyong 
mata mo. Lahat, lahat ng mga importante doon sa trading, lalagay nyo doon. And this is separate from your journal. Don't forget, kailangan pa rin mag-journal. Once you, once you have a plan, then you start executing it, you need to start journaling it. Kasi doon mo makikita, baka naman pumapalpak yung planong yun. Again, not all plans are foolproof. Kahit sino pa nagsabi nyo, wala akong pakialam kung isang, yung YouTuber na may 1 million views na or something or may uh, 10 million followers yung nagsabi. It doesn't mean that it's gonna work. It worked for them. It might not work for you. Okay? So, you need to journal. You need to track kung gumagana ba. And I get it. Minsan, kunyari, nag-journal ka ng trade, tapos surud-surud yung talo. Nakakapikon, di ba? Nakakawalang gana. Parang talo ka na, malungkot ka na, sinisipa ka pa, sinalagyan parang asin yung sugat mo. I get it. But, it's important. It's important to track your progress so you know that there's progress. Di ba? That more than makes up for whatever small pain you might feel right now journaling your losses, journaling your failures. That's fine. Because it will more than make up for it in the long run. Now, when you create a plan, ganun din. Bakit kailangan journal Kasi hindi porket hindi siya gumara ng isa, dalawa, tatlong beses. Ibig sabihin, palpak ka na. Ibig sabihin, yung plinanan mo, babasura mo na. Maaring hindi lang talaga gumana this time. So you need to track it over a series of trades over a period of time in order for you to determine that the plan that you created works or doesn't work for you. Okay? So that's it guys, no? Kapag merong kayong talo na gusto nyong mabawi, just recognize the problem, create a plan, and execute. I know it sounds so cliche. Diba? Pero yung um, important naman sa kanya, kumbaga, yung uh, un-cliche, if there's such a word, na aspect sa kanya, is lahat tayo iba-iba ng plano eh. Diba? Huwag tayo aasa sa plano ng iba. Kasi we're just removing the accountability from ourselves. Imbis na sabihin natin na tayo yung may mali, ginagawa natin, pinapasa natin yung mali sa ibang tao, tapos siya yung tanga kapag hindi gumana, siya yung bobo kung hindi gumana. Kasalanan ba naman ng ibang tao kung yung planong yun gumana para sa kanya? Kaya nga, I, I keep stressing na the plan needs to be yours because what worked for them might not work for you. But that said, it did work for them. Hindi sila budol, hindi sila sinungaling, Okay? And in the future, once na implinano nyo, ends up working out for you, and sinabi nyo sa ibang tao, hindi gumana, hindi rin kayo sinungaling, hindi rin kayo budol. Nataon lang na ang gumagana para sa'yo, maaring hindi gumagana para sa iba. And that applies not just in trading, but in life as well. So guys, yun lang yun, no? That's all that I want to say about this topic. I hope na nakatulong to sa inyo kahit papano. I hope you found this video educational, helpful, or at least mildly entertaining. And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, guys, no, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading.